Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel Automation Control Solutions. I am Dr. Samo. In today's tutorial, we will learn about HMI and Modbus. A Delta PLC will be connected to HMI via Modbus. The PLC will be controlled by HMI. Let's start. HMI Human Machine Interfaces, HMIs, are used as an operator control panel for PLCs and RTUs. HMIs replace manually activated switches, dials, and other controls with graphical representations of the control process and digital controls to influence that process. A human machine interface, HMI, is a user interface or dashboard that connects a person to a machine, system, or device. While the term can technically be applied to any screen that allows a user to interact with a device, HMI is most used in the context of an industrial process. HMI 2 A human machine interface, HMI, is a device that allows a human to give directions and receive feedback from the PLC that is controlling the manufacturing process. The most common roles interacting with HMIs are operators, system integrators, and engineers, particularly control system engineers. HMIs are essential resources for these professionals, who use them to review and monitor processes, diagnose problems, and visualize data. HMI 3 HMIs optimize an industrial process by digitizing and centralizing data for a viewer. By leveraging HMI, operators can see important information displayed in graphs, charts, or digital dashboards, view and manage alarms, and connect with SCADA, ERP, and MESS systems, all through one console. Previously, operators would need to walk the floor constantly to review mechanical progress and record it on a piece of paper or a whiteboard. By allowing PLCs to communicate real-time information straight to an HMI display, HMI technology eliminates the need for this outdated practice and thereby reduces many costly problems caused by lack of information or human error. HMI Specifications Model, WAP 2070T Maker, Advantech Screen Size, 7 inches Power Supply HMI Required 24 Voltage DC Here we connect ground to 0 volt and 24 to 24 DC voltage. HMI communication port. Here, COM port 2, COM 2, will be used for communication. Two wires are needed for communication. These wires will be connected to TX plus and TX minus. These two wires are known as Modbus protocol and ARS 485 communication. HMI and compute. HMI will be connected to the computer through a USB-B cable. This cable is also known as the HMI programming cable. It is used to download the HMI program from software to HMI. HMI installation. HMI can be installed using clips. These clips hold the HMI in a panel box. PLC Modbus port. The Delta PLC 14ES has one Modbus protocol port which will be used for ARS 485 communication. Here, two wires are also required for communication connection. Modbus Modbus is basically a protocol that facilitates communication between the master or the host and the slaves or the connected devices. The Modbus RTU protocol is widely used on many industrial sites and adopted by many manufacturers because this protocol is free, open, and simple. The master is a human machine interface, HMI, or supervisory control and data acquisition, SCADA, system and the slave is a sensor, programmable logic controller, PLC, or programmable automation controller, POC. Modbus Remote Terminal Unit, RTU, enables master-slave communication between devices connected through serial RS-485 using two wires. In an RS-485 network, a master queries one or more slave devices for data acquisition or parameter settings. The slaves return a response to all queries addressed to them individually and only respond to the queries transmitted from the master. Wiring Diagram In Modbus, HMI, and PLC communication wiring is very easy. As you can, 
see the positive wire of HMI, is connected, to the positive wire of PLC. And the negative wire of HMI, is connected to the negative wire of PLC. I told you it is very easy. Connect the positive wire of HMI to the positive wire of PLC, and the negative wire of HMI to the negative wire of PLC. Delta PLC Modbus Addresses The Modbus addresses are specific memory addresses. It helps us to access essential information from specific memory. The following is the table of addresses. Here, PLC addresses and Modbus addresses are given. As input pin has PLC address X0, and Modbus address 101025. Similarly, output pin has PLC address Y0, and Modbus address 001281. Similarly, Memory 0 has PLC address M0, and Modbus address 002049. Remember, we always use Modbus addresses in Modbus protocol, ARS 485 communication. The timer and counter also have Modbus addresses. Now, let's move to the ladder diagram. Construct the following ladder diagram and upload it to Delta PLC. Here, we are using memory bits, M0, M1, M2, and M3. Remember the Modbus of these memory bits, because these addresses will be used in HMI designing. The Modbus of memory bit M0 is 2049. The Modbus of memory bit M1 is 2050. The Modbus of memory bit M2 is 2051. The Modbus of memory bit M3 is 2052. Here, station number should be selected as 1. Because it is a slave device. We set the address of HMI as 0. Because HMI is master device. Now it's time to design HMI. Let's start. For designing HMI. Open Web Access slash HMI Designer Software. From the file menu select a new file, assign a name, and click on Next. Set parameters as Application name as AP1 Display size or product type as 7 inch Remember, if you not select proper display size your HMI model will not be displayed. After that set Display orientation, landscape Model, WAP 2070T. Display resolution, 800 by 480. Press Next. Now generate a link for HMI. Set the parameters as. Link number, 1. Link name, link 1, you can assign any other name. Link type as, direct link, com. Device or server as, mod concorp scroll it from list. Modbus device or slave, ASCII, will automatically be selected. Link port is, COM2, Link1. Remember, we are using COM2 of HMI. Therefore, we selected COM2 here. Press Next. Now we have to set communication parameters. It should be the same as of PLC. Set these parameters. Baud rate as, 9600. Data bits is 7. Because it is 7 in PLC. Parity is even, it is in PLC. Stop bit is 1, as in PLC. Panel address is 0. Because it is HMI is master. PLC address is 1, as it is slave. Press finish. Here we are seeing a blank HMI screen, let's design it. From object menu select bit button. Double click on it. Select the required shape by clicking on select button. Select the color, for off state, of button, from BG color, as green. Similarly, select the color, for on state, of button, from BG color, as red. Select invert option. It is not visible here. But you have to select the invert option. Else HMI will not on off the memory bit properly. Remember, select invert option. Enter the address, of memory bit M0, that is, 
2049. Copy and paste the bit button. And only change the message. Memory bit addresses. From Object menu select bit lamp. Double click on it. Select the required shape by clicking on select button. Select the color, for off state, of lamp, from BG color. as green. Similarly, select the color, for on state, of lamp, from BG color, as red. Enter the address, of memory bit M0, that is, 2049. Copy and paste the bit lamp. and only change the memory bit address. addresses. Now HMI design is completed. Now it's time to download the screen to HMI. Let S insert an image of our channel logo. Logo of automation and control solutions. From draw menu, select picture and drage on HMI screen. Double click on it. Browse the logo and select it. Select the check fit to object. Press OK. Set the size of image now hmi design is completed with our channel logo now it's time to download the screen to hmi click on download icon now select usb option because we are using usb cable for downloading wait to complete